Hello and welcome everybody to this video tutorial. Here's Ahmad Nasser from my channel YouTube Stereo 007. In this video we want to work with multilingual using WordPress. So let's begin. First thing, let's create a database here, ML2, and we got uh, the web server folder. Let's go and create a new folder here in the server, multilingual, and install WordPress in this folder. And let's begin with installation. Uh, we go to the main folder, multilingual, create configuration, let's go type the database ML2 and just define the database here ML2 uh, username is root we don't have any password to the server MySQL submit run the installation type the website name let's say ML test and username password we gotta type email install WordPress so we ready to go admin admin remember my password we logged into WordPress. This is the first step. After that, we need to set up the multilingual files. First thing, you need this folder, Languages. Here, you set up the main languages that you want to WordPress. By default, it's English. I need to add Arabic. So, the website is going to be Arabic and English website. So, just start, copy the Languages folder. Go to your multilingual files in the web content. Paste the folder over there. Alright, so we get the folder here. Next step, we need a plugin for the multilingual called WPML. And this folder is going to be inside the plugins folder here. So just go there to the site press multilingual CMS. I will upload this file to Mediafire so that you can download it. Okay, just need to copy this file folder to your plugins directory. So I press. All right, we got this folder. We got this folder over there, and the plugin should be now working with us. Uh, next step, you should try to see what is the theme that you are currently using. I'm using 2012. So in order to integrate the plugin with the 2012 theme, you have to go to your uh, web content themes. We got 2012. You, you have a functions uh, for a file here, functions at PHP. We need to integrate this with uh, uh, with our uh, plugin. So in order to do that, you have to do something. You have to include uh, this function in your script. So after definition here, let me say in the setup. All right. Or let me define it here. So I just gonna load text domain for for my theme. My theme is 2012. So you have to pick up your 2012 theme folder. So I just want to pick up pick it from here 2012 and type it here 2012 theme name. And we're gonna include WBM integration. And you you got this file from the plugin folders. So if you go to web content plugins, you got Cypress, we got docs, we got theme integration, we got WBML integration. You just copy this uh, integration file to the theme 2012 and paste it over there. And just include this inside your function script. Save this. Let me just make sure everything works correctly. Let's go to the visit site and see everything works fine. Refresh this page. We don't got any error. So that's fine. So this is the first step in order to integrate your uh, multilingual plugin. The next step we need to activate the plugin. So you just go plugins. All right. Uh, you have this WBML multilingual CMS. You just activate it. So after you activate it, you have to do some configuration. So let's go and make the configuration. You choose the default language. So I'm going to choose English. Click Next. You choose the other language that you want, your website. Um, I, I just want to use Arabic and English, so just click Arabic. Here you, you just select the 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 switcher language switcher so I want to stick with the default configuration you can change the CSS uh, and the, the main uh, place where do you want to put this language switcher but for now stick with the default so you can 
integrate this uh, language switcher and put it any place in your theme by copying this script and click finish so if you go now to visit site you're gonna see here we don't have any language switcher so we need to add the language switcher in our theme so you can do that by going to the header you got body uh, we got um, theme name here we got main we can put it here so let me see what is gonna happen so you can see here we got inserted the language switcher into our theme you can navigate between Arabic and English you can see that the whole content of this theme is changed to Arabic okay you can choose English you can do all that stuff notes here I added two things the inserted customize one and the default one integrated with the theme but sometimes you got a theme you don't have this so you need to integrate it manually by inserting this code into your theme alright this is the first thing okay what about if I need to display certain content according to language for example uh, if I go to a post let me just go to uh, the post here or the page you can see we've got the page here we just display the content uh, of the page and, uh, and the, in the the content here so if we go to this page uh, we got the, we got the main content alright so this is ID main class equal rubber so we got in the same uh, content here so you, you can you can display something on this um, page for example if I want to come here and say alright h1 hello example and it in the h1 alright so you get this word if you refresh you're gonna see uh, this page uh, you gotta see in, in the this post in the page so if we go to this sample page you're gonna see here we got page ID equal to we see this word hello but if you navigate between English and Arabic nothing gonna happen so if you select English okay you don't have the second language so in order to do that you got edit page you have to insert the duplicate for Arabic to this page so we have the language of this page is English you can choose Arabic alright and you can choose the default language but sometimes you don't have the Arabic version of the theme so you have to add it manually so you just go add Arabic so this way we add the Arabic version you can uh, type anything in Arabic okay so this is the Arabic version of that uh, of that post so you can view the page so now we're gonna see this is in Arabic you can go to English version and so forth so you can navigate but you can see here we, the same word hello is still in English so we need to we need to add customized translation for this word in order to do that you have to go to the function folder in your theme and add the, add the following code snippets I already defined this function so you have to add this code manually you can use an XML file or stuff like that but this is the easiest way to have a function here let's say get let me change this to get hello so I just want to name it get hello so if it if it's the language is English I gotta say I guess I gotta say hello if the language is Arabic just gonna say marhaba okay so this is a sim sample and quick introduction to translation so we got this git hello function when the language is English we're gonna print it out on the screen get hello when the language is Arabic we're gonna translate or print it out marhaba so let's try this then we have this word hello here you can just come here to the header one and type PHP you just type the function name and that's it close the PHP script so this is gonna be auto if you go to the page here okay go to the main page alright you select the page that you want so I just wanna go to this page 
So you're gonna see when the language is Arabic, we're gonna see here Marhaba, all right. But when we change it to English, we're gonna see Hello. So this is the way how this customized translation works for WPML. And that's it. This is all the story, guys. Uh, you can find the files. I'm just gonna upload all these together to WordPress, and you can use them. So for now, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to continue with the second part how to uh, translate menus and all that stuff using WordPress. So until that time, thank you guys. See you in the next video.